And this is Solar Flare. This is one of the official Nadio Live maps, so we will be playing it. Yeah, and this is a best of seven, guys. So the first team to take four maps is going to win our tournament here. And so let's talk a little bit about the layout of this map while the players are getting warmed up. All right, so basically uh, we just saw them all run out of that uh, original spawn. There is a cave that runs underground, kind of where my cursor is now, and pops out sort of back here, I believe. Where is that exit at? Somewhere around here. Oh, there it's it is. It's actually right there and yeah, yeah. also there. And the capture point is right there in the middle in a very congested area. So there's a lot of corners around the cap point. There's a lot of places to hide for defenders. Right. Defensive players can actually stand all the way around this column. They can hide basically under this wall here. There is actually, I do want to show water, you. Water, yeah. This water here is electrified. So unlike the water we saw in that last map where you fell in and could swim around a little bit, this water will instantly eliminate you. It is electrified, basically, and uh, you do not want to fall in that. Uh, all right, so yeah, we're definitely ready whenever the players are. It's uh, it's up to you guys to get to, to uh, play these games. We're looking for a $750 winning team here at the end of this and $250 for second place. So the warm-up timer is expiring, and we will get started. We are live. Last time, ESP started on defense, so they should be on attack this time around. Yeah, and I expect to see XP3, and That's there right. it is, going first. Now, the attack order is something we haven't talked about yet, but it's actually extremely important. Uh, you set your attack order for your three players at the start of each map, and the player that attacks first has the highest potential to attack in extra rounds if a game goes longer than six rounds. So if it's not a 6-0, the player in first position is going to be attacking twice, and in some cases, if it goes to overtime, three, maybe even four times. Yep, I like the analogy I, I, neither I or Kevin used yesterday. Basically, it's uh, it's like being a leadoff hitter and a cleanup hitter yeah, at the same time. Yeah, that's a good time. analogy. So it really is a really valuable starting spot. One Let's defender go ahead and left already. He already picked two defenders, XP3, not even letting us jump to his vision before killing all of the <laughs> Area 51 here. That's right. Uh, and Scarez <laughs> is going to be the last defender remainer remaining. I don't know why he's <laughs> dropping his, uh, his marker. You see Whoa! that? That what little that? X on his crosshair, actually, that's a marker that offensive and defensive players can use to basically mark wherever their cursor is. If a defensive player spots, oh wow, he's going to cap this goal. He's, uh -oh. he's actually teasing. A little bit of trolling from XP3 <laughs> there, guys. <laughs> he's teasing. He wanted to take out Scarez uh, so that he could just have the three kills rather than taking the goal. But uh, Semphis is going to be attacking first now for Area 51. Scarez, <laughs> aw. It's okay. He didn't and, uh, it. Zemphis actually also a Counter-Strike 1.6 pro, so there's a lot of uh, Counter-Strike guys finding their way towards Shoot Mania, and actually we're seeing all sorts of uh, uh -oh. pro gamers from all sorts of games hopping in here. Look at this. We've got XP3 taking that super forward defense. And he position. gets punished. And he pays for it, but Godson snuck behind Minute uh -oh. to take off an armor. Is ESP going to get too confident here and pay for it? It's very possible. I, like we said, basically accuracy is everything in this game. It doesn't matter if you know the maps that well if your laser is on. Uh, oh, that one really would have helped. Two defenders left, two armors. Armors remaining for our attacker on Area 51. That's right. So if, if your laser is on, you don't even have to know the map. You don't even have to know any strategy. As long as you hit the guys, you can yeah. win You can win the round for your team. So Sempis already picking off one player. Obviously don't want to get too overconfident, like you said. Uh, rushing the enemy is actually kind of a risky strategy. There's 10 oh, seconds. Six shot. About 10 seconds remaining. Only one defender, but only one armor. First shot will win. But there wow. we go. He just caps the goal. Let's, uh, where was? Oh, he was off the backside, not quite able to get over to the goal fast enough. So caught out of position there. Yeah, that's a, uh, you see OMG. Sabo from Godson. That basically means he sabotaged his team <laughs> and uh, basically dropped the ball. <laughs> yeah, by getting picked off early, you really put your team in a tough position on defense. Well, no, that was Godson was the last defender nowhere near the, the goal, so uh, uh, he's, he's feeling a little bit uh, embarrassed about that. But Gills is on the offense now. He is actually a former Quake player. Yep, that is right. 25-year-old old former Unreal and Quake player. All right. And Gills is going to be moving forward here. So not two sure. attacking rounds to start off our second map. That is not a typical at all of oh, uh, yeah. competitive play there. So one to one going into the third round. Gills sneaking around here trying to pick off a shot. I don't want to give up too much about his position here, but I think they're going to be figuring it out pretty soon here as those rail shots are zooming past their head. Now this is my actual favorite attack path on this map, Josh. Uh, I don't like it because if you get hit by a rocket, nice shot. if you get hit by a rocket when you're falling down, you can get popped into the water, and it's just That's really true. embarrassing. <laughs> that but, is uh, true. Nice attacking round there from Gills. That's three attacking rounds successful yeah, what is in going a row. On? We're in the twilight zone here. Their, their lasers are too good. It looks like. Yeah, typically the defenders uh, are favored to win the round, and attackers are you know the underdogs. And if you're if you manage to take an attacking round, you're the hero. So that's, you know, the typical way that this game plays out. Now Kiko for Area 51. Let's see what he can do for. All right, well, we saw these same sort of positions from ESP in the last uh, attacking round for Area 51. Basically, XP3 ran right up there, tried to get uh, a quick rocket in the face, but uh, this time XP3 did actually manage to get out of there without being picked off. Uh, Hiko is 
looping around now. Godson already has vision on him, though, yeah. so this actually is a tough jump because rockets, not only do they hit you and take your armor off, if they hit you, they actually bounce backwards as oh, well. Oh, no, already taking two hits, but a great rail shot there on XP3. One oh. rocket up, but he does go down in the end. Three to one for ESP. Really nice shots from ESP with those rockets. So, as I was saying, the rockets will actually push you back if you try to jump off a ledge like that onto the uh, point and you get hit by one rocket in the air, you can just fall straight down and have to loop right back around again. It's really hard yeah. to uh, get there from that angle. But there are there are a couple of options when you're back there. Godson is going to be on the attack now, and that was actually the first successful defensive round that we've seen on this map, Solar Flare. So Godson will take his vision and see what's going on here. Uh-oh, missing an easy shot there on Sempis, taking a rocket for his trouble. Oh, take a no. second. One hit left, three defenders alive, and he does go down unceremoniously. Man, the defenders doing a great job there. After you land two defensive rockets and you still have all three of your guys up, you just you get that bloodlust. You're yes. like, I'm gonna well, let's all just rush him because he's gonna panic. He's you know he's only got one armor left. Even if we're just spamming rockets all around him, he could make a, a bad decision and walk into one. You know, the same is true as when you kill two defenders on attack and have three lives. You just go into easy mode and just rush the point. And then a lot of times uh, I do that and I get myself killed <laughs> with by one defender giving me the triple tap. <laughs> all right, so we got Scar as, as the attacker here now for Area 51. He had a great attacking round on that last map. So let's see how he fares on Solar Flare. And now we're seeing ESP use some more traditional defensive positions here. XP3 spotting up on the top. I think we have Gills there on the point. All right, Godson is on the right flank. That's right, Scar is looking around for options. Uh, there's only a couple of attack routes, only eight seconds left before that goal becomes capturable. He's going to have to make his way up there quickly now. And with these defensive positions from ESP, I'm not sure he's going to have time to get up there. And from what we've seen so far, Scar is, it has the best uh, rail of the Area 51 team. So we'll see Ooh. if, oh, he already takes an early rocket with zero defenders. Now two. <laughs> this is a tough <laughs> spot here. Going to need a miracle, yeah. and he's not going to get it. Four to two for All right. ESP. All right, so that clock coming into play there. We saw he was uh, taking his time trying to work his way up but couldn't actually manage to pick off any defenders, so they were fine just sitting back by the goal, waiting for him to come up to them, and that basically gave them that clear shot, that clear channel down the middle. And let's hop on XP3's vision early here, because he goes for these insane picks into the spawn, as you can see here. He's trying to jump and just hit a really, really ridiculous shot right into the spawn, and he's capable of doing those. One of the very few players that has the talent to make those rail shots. We do see Scarez pushing forward, but XP3 knows he's there, oh, kills him immediately. All, is that all three of them are back there? XP3 is going to just make his way to the point. Now the defenders have to attack him, and that is not oh, the wow. position you want to be in. Yeah, this is actually great for XP3. Already picking off a defender. He knows both of the other defenders are behind him, and if they come up this ledge, he's got plenty of room to just <laughs> shoot away. That is tough as a defender, only one remaining, and wow, that was a ridiculous shot in, in motion there, and XP3 taking that attacking round. We're back on map point now for Solar Flare. It's going to be all on Semphis. Yeah, so to, the pressure is on. Yeah, he's got, a, he's got to take an attacking round here, or ESP will move up to two maps to zero. This is a, uh, another route uh, that we, <laughs> we haven't Immediately seen catch yourself yet. saying, and you're like, uh, and yep, so uh, uh, ESP actually getting very aggressive here. Looks like they have oh. spotted our attacker, taking oh, wow. one armor down, <laughs> two armor. Just one armor left. He's got to work his way. After taking the tunnel like that, ESP guys move forward to their normal position, and they quickly saw, oh, he's not here. we got to back up. So they, they went to that uh, exit. Nice shot. Semphis getting a nice shot there. They went to that exit to uh, the attacker's left there. Oh, just Ooh. picked off in midair. Nice and that's mid -air it for rocket. map number two. ESP takes the second map. They're move, they move the score now to two maps to zero. Uh, do we want to... Yeah, so right. guys, I'm going to be signing off for the day, handing over to Mr. Kevin Naki. So please stick with us. We're going into the third map of ESP versus Area 51 in our IPL PAX final.